Today in our 2005 Volvo XC90, we'll be installing the Tow Ready T1 Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4 pole flat trailer connector, part number 118411. To begin our install, we're first going to open up the rear hatch and tailgate. We're then going to remove the rear cargo cover, open up the rear panel, and remove it. Now to remove it, we'll undo the strap on each side, which is just a simple metal button. Once we unhook those two, we'll take the center cord, pulling up on it, and we can remove the whole rear section. Now with that out of the way, we need to remove the two corner panels. Simply pull up on them, and we'll set them aside for reinstallation later. Once you have the corner trim out, we can see the plastic tab here that goes up the side. Pulling on the plastic tab will release the panel. We can drop it down and out and again set it aside for reinstallation later. We're going to go ahead and repeat the same process again on the driver's side. Now with our paneling out of the way, we need to locate the manufacturer's wiring that comes from the back of the taillight assembly. Reaching in behind the paneling, go ahead and pull it out. You'll see it's a gray connector and to release it, press on the locking tab and separate the two connection points. Now we've located our connection points here, we'll bring in the new wiring harness. Taking the yellow wire connector that comes from the converter box, we can plug in line with the manufacturer's wiring as the connectors will match up. This creates our T connection here on the driver's side. Next, we'll take the white wire with the pre-attached ring terminal. This is going to be the ground for our converter box and four pole and locate a suitable mounting point. Now when grounding our white wire, we're going to look for an area where the sheet metal doubles up for a good secure ground. Here behind the taillight assembly is a great location. The sheet metal doubles up and it's very accessible so we can use our self-tapping screw to secure the ring terminal. Now once we have a good secure ground, go to the next step. Next we need to take the green and red wire T connector, route it underneath the paneling following the manufacturer's wiring over to the passenger side. Now to make it easier to run behind the battery, we're going to go ahead and remove the three fasteners to secure the top of the battery bracket. Take the bracket up, setting it aside, and then the plastic cover off of the battery. Now we can take our T-connector and wiring and simply route in behind the battery. Once I get over to the passenger side, I'll run underneath the paneling just like I did on the driver's side. Now once we're on the passenger side, we need to locate the T-connector over here also same gray plug that we worked with on the driver's side. Unlock the two connection points and install our T-connector. Once we've made this connection point, we need to go back over to the driver's side to mount the converter box. On the back side is a two-way adhesive. We'll go ahead and remove the cover of the two-way adhesive. We can attach it just below where we installed our ground. And we're looking for a clean, flat surface, preferably sheet metal. Let's firmly press it into place. Now once we have our converter box installed, we can go ahead and run our four flat connector, which is going to follow the wiring harness we ran over to the passenger side into the center lower compartment area next to the battery. Our last attachment point is going to be our inline fuse holder power wire. It will go here to the fuse box on the driver's side. Go ahead and remove the nut that's here on the stud install a ring terminal and then re-secure the nut. Once we have the nut secured, we can go ahead and take the cap off the fuse holder and install the 10 amp fuse provided with the install kit. Next, we'll go ahead and clean up our install by securing our wire as necessary with the zip ties provided. 
Now once we have the wiring secured, we can go ahead and put our battery box back together. Now once we have the battery box back together, we can go ahead and reinstall our interior panels and flooring. Now we're back together, let's go ahead and show you how to use the new four pole connector. Simply open up the rear storage and flooring, take our four pole connector and run it out of the lower storage area. We can then go ahead and close the tailgate, running our four pole towards the center, but staying away from the latch, as pinching it off in the latch can't harm the wire. However, the weather stripping on the hatch is thick enough, we'll simply close it down on the four pole as we run it down to our hitch or accessory. Then once we're finished, we can simply open up the hatch, the tailgate, our rear storage compartment, and store it down in the lower cargo area. Next, let's go ahead and show you how to test the new four pole connector. Let's we'll simply remove the cap of the four pole connector, take our test light, and attach it to the bare or open terminal, which is also connected to the white wire. We'll test the next terminal over for our brown wire terminal for the running light circuit yellow wire terminal for the driver's side turn signal and brake. Then the green wire is for the passenger side turn signal and brake. Now we know our new four pole flat trailer connector works, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install and operation of our tow ready T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector part number 118-411 on our 2005 Volvo XC90.